What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stock Goat YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering the overall market. We will also cover the SoFi stock and pretty much everything that I expected to happen, you know, heading into the end of the week for that CPI report tomorrow morning. Everything happened pretty much exactly as I expected. Wall Street tried to trick everybody. Monday, green day. Tuesday, green. Wednesday, a slight little red day. And then Boom, guys, today, Thursday, right before the close, they just destroyed the entire market. Saw this coming. They were just baiting people at the beginning of the week to get hammered by the end of the day. Massive sell-offs throughout growth stocks. We pretty much were ready for this, okay? But we are going to get that CPI report tomorrow morning, once again, 830. I will be sleeping through. I do not care to pay attention to it and stress over it. I won't even look at it till like 10 o'clock, 930 or something like that. I'm not going to be looking at it the moment it drops, okay? Because pre-market, if it's a bad CPI report, the market is going to sell off 5% plus on everything. And if it's great, if it's green... That's great news. Okay. I just personally will not be watching it the moment, the hour that it drops. Okay, so be ready, be prepared for tomorrow, but we're going to cover the overall market today. If you find any of this information useful, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We will be keeping you updated daily. Be sure to smash the like button and don't forget to drop a comment. I'm going to be coming back to as many people as I can. And also, I posted the entire CFO Fireside Chat with Piper Sandler. You can find that on my most recent video. Let's get into this one. All right, guys, stock market news, live updates, stocks fall sharply as Wall Street gears up for inflation data. This is a big inflation CPI report, guys. I don't know why. I just feel like this is an important one. We're talking eight months of a correction. Um, things are starting to roll over like uh, real estate, used car sales. It's just that gasoline, the oil that I really have a big problem with that could hurt the CPI report. So we're going to see maybe the supply chains are opening back up. Uh, some of the investors have been saying so. There's a lot of things to take into consideration tomorrow. But once again, 830, we're literally, you know, just 13, 14 hours out from that CPI report. We can see the index has got hammered. SP 500, 2.3, Dow 1.9, NASDAQ almost 3%, Russell uh, 2%. SoFi got hammered today, down 8%. Uh, really not stressing about this, guys. I know this is a big red day, but it's just part of the algorithm sell offs getting ready for the CPI report. And yes, we can go down lower into the fives if it's a nasty CPI report. But I'm telling you right now, SoFi is absolutely killing it. If you listen, to that um, buyer side chat, guys. This company is going to be stronger than ever when we get out of this little uh, correction bear market, okay? So now that all these nasty sell-offs and declines are happening, this is the time to dollar cost average if you've been wanting to you know, lower your average or get into the SoFi stock. I mean, uh, Amazon stock literally sold off from $110 all the way down to six. SoFi never even hit 30, okay? So imagine if you were buying... You know, SoFi at 100, 90, 80, 70, and you're back down to six. That's a nightmare. That's, you're never gonna, you know, you're, you're talking five, 10 years to get your money back, okay? A lot of people are in the 15, maybe 20 cost base. You're gonna get your money back eventually the way this company is growing. Now is the time to dollar cost average, uh, but we have some great news coming in today. SoFi CEO averages down hard bought 299 g's worth of shares 47,000 units at 630 increasing direct ownership to 3.43 million shares guys anthony noto is loading the crap up i literally think he's bought three four million dollars at this point over the past couple of months guys he is dollar cost averaging when the stock goes over 10 over eight five seven it doesn't matter he is a long-term investor he could easily sell his 3 million shares and cash out if he was trying to, you know, knew he was going to get booted as the CEO, cash out his uh, 30, 40 million bucks or something like that. And, you know, uh, buy back in. I don't know, but he's not selling anything. He's holding his long term shares and, you know, he could probably build this position up to four or five million shares. It looks like by the end of the year. All right, guys, we have 105 growth stocks. We can see there is multiple companies getting hammered over 8%. Just on the you know bottom 20, New Bank down 10, Matterport 9, Block 9, Affirm, Roku, Open Door 9, uh, SoFi and Upstart literally neck and neck. You know, I wish SoFi held up a little bit better. I wasn't expecting it to be that nasty today before the, the CPI report even dropped. Coinbase 8, 
uh, Roblox 7. Let's just go to the top. There was virtually nothing that, you know, had a great day today. Everything sold off into the red, guys. So this was a nasty day inside of the market. You know the stock market is forward looking. It pretty much just prices in the bad news, even if the bad news doesn't happen. Now, I want you to look at this, guys. This is website traffic just for a couple of companies, okay? This is on tip ranks. You can see uh, Twitter's website traffic has been declining to literally like super lows for the month of uh, April and May. They had a little bit of a tick up. Netflix, look guys, the exact same thing. Decline in uh, website traffic or you know traffic overall. January, February, March, April, a little bit of a tick up, but look at that. Website traffic has just been declining massively. Coinbase, a substantial decline in traffic since December. Every and single month lower and lower and then a slight uh, tick up for April to May. Guys, take a look at SoFi's website traffic. We are literally hitting all time highs for the month of May, look at that, guys. A peak right here. It says about 14 million overall. Look at that. We had a little bit of a tick down for April, but look at that. Back to a brand new all-time high right here, guys. You can see none of those companies, Twitter, Netflix, Coinbase are doing that. These guys are at six-month, you know, monthly lows. SoFi is literally hitting all-time highs in website traffic, guys. That is because they are officially a 100% digital online bank offering 40x national interest right now. So don't pay attention to the stock price right now because we know SoFi is oversold. And there's other companies amazing as well. Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft. These are down 20, 40%. Netflix, everything's getting hammered. I'm just telling you right now, SoFi is setting up for a super slingshot when this market recovers and this inflation slows down. They are literally hitting all strides in every direction. Deposits, website traffic, uh, customer quality, uh, diversification of the business. They are setting up to be a monster. They are just so focused on you know adding as many users as possible. And look at the traffic we're getting after this bank charter and technicist acquisition, guys. SoFi is just killing it right now. Once again, guys, I covered the entire Piper Sandler Fire side chat for you. It's about 23 minutes. Um, this will cover, you know, everything that the company is doing right now. And, you know, I'm going to make this uh, little Piper Sandler Fire side chat and do a multiple of videos. You know, I can cover about four or five videos covering, you know, certain segments of the interview. But I just want to cover... A very important segment, guys. It's this is literally just going to be a minute or so. This is covering the customer quality. The interviewer for Piper Sandler asked about is there customer, you know, deterioration or, you know, is the consumer rolling over? This is very important because a lot of you guys have been saying SoFi is going to see a substantial decline and, you know, their products, lending is going to, you know, start folding. And you're going to be blown away with what the CFO says, guys. This is absolutely incredible. And I also posted this on my Twitter. So, so a lot of others in the um, other installment lenders or student lenders or, or even credit cards are starting to see a little bit of degradation, specifically around the subprime side. You know, you're obviously uh, you know lending to higher FICO scores. Um, is, is there any other, are you seeing anything else in the market that may be indicating that we're starting to see softness in the consumer? Or anything of the sort, or is it still fairly benign? I mean, you're showing year over year declines in your delinquency rates and default rates. Yeah, we haven't we haven't seen it in our consumer base. I think that's a function of the quality um, and and you know the overall profile of our borrower. So we haven't seen any degradation uh, up until this point. But we obviously closely monitor that along with um, a, a number of other macroeconomic factors that we're reviewing every single day and week to ensure that. Um, where we're continuing to lend to the best borrowers. All right, guys, you heard it. They are not seeing any problems inside of their consumer right now, their customers, guys. Uh, they have such high FICO scores. They have such high um, salaries. It's just incredible the members that SoFi is going after right now. Even in this environment where you see uh, companies just cutting their employees 10 15% and cutting guidance, SoFi has not done that at all. I mean, SoFi is increasing revenue guidance, increasing their EBITDA guidance, even with, you know, a super long a moratorium for 2.5 years. So guys, SoFi is doing extremely well. And I highly recommend you to watch this interview. This, this is, is the best fireside chat I have ever seen out of all of them, even with Anthony Noto. This guy 
Uh, the CFO absolutely killed it. And that's probably because of all the things that SoFi has gotten now. The bank charter, the technicist acquisition, just everything, okay? They are killing it. Deposits, their interest. Guys, look at the headline. They have $2.2 in deposits right now. They just had $1.5 billion uh, a couple of weeks ago. So this is getting out of hands extremely fast. They can now legally lend in you know every single state without a bunch of regulations now that they have that bank charter. So guys, SoFi is absolutely killing it right now. We are just in a bad stock market with this environment, inflation right now, et cetera. And guys, if you're trying to you know, buy tomorrow on a nasty CPI report, et cetera, this is the website you're going to go on to. This is the uh, CPI website. And right here is where you're going to get the, uh, the link. It just pops up out of nowhere right here. You can see the CPI data is scheduled to be released on June 10th at 8.30 a.m. I will not be... Uh, stressing over this or worrying about this. I am not a short-term day trader. Uh, this is not going to bother me at all if it does go down uh, massively. You know, I'm just going to most likely dollar cost average in the next week or so uh, when things calm down a little bit because, you know, I see no problems with SoFi right now. In this environment, they're killing it. Imagine when the environment comes back even stronger. Rising rate environment, guys, SoFi is killing it. It does not matter. They have such a wide diversified business model. So, CPI report, guys, we're literally just a couple of hours away. So be prepared. That's why the market was selling off today. And if you made the end of the video, I want to say I really do appreciate it. I enjoyed doing this video for you. The market is getting out of hands extremely quick, but SoFi is showing very, very strong fundamental, strong growth, strong execution, strong management. And they are headed to that goal of being a profitable uh, fintech bank very soon. So everything is working uh, very, very strategically, guys. Their deposits are growing. Their cu the customer base is growing 400, 500,000 per quarter. And guys, we're heading into an NFL season where, you know, they're SoFi Stadium. They just won the Super Bowl. So a lot of good things are happening for SoFi. You just need to be patient and understand this is a tough market that we're in. But I believe this is a great long term investment. And SoFi will be one of the companies that bounce back the quickest. Once again, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you are not already subscribed, be sure to smash the like button. Don't forget to drop a comment. My name's Kyle. Hope you have a great day.